What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today I have found the cheapest Gucci Louis Vuitton that I found ever like this is all things that reach out Literally at like two thousand dollars that we're finding like 70% off now I wanted to do something like this because if you haven't seen the previous videos where I did I found the cheapest Louis Vuitton Gucci off-white and all that kind of stuff It was the cheapest items, but they were at the retail price I was able to find things that were below 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 the retail price very low prices that is somewhat affordable now now, in terms of designer stuff, affordable, it's a subjective kind of term. I would say for designer under $100, relatively affordable just because the nature of designer, like a t-shirt goes for $500. And I was able to find one for under $100. I also found an item from Louis Vuitton in this video that I'm going to be giving away. So if you guys wanna see the rules for that, you guys typically know what it is. You have to subscribe to the channel, you have to follow me on Instagram, you have to comment down below, but all the rules will be in the description and you'll see that when it comes around. I actually have found the cheapest Gucci item I think I've ever found, actual Gucci item. Like I think this is the cheapest Gucci that is worth like paying for. Like, I don't know. I, the retail is 170. I got it for 50. So you're gonna have to see for that. That means we're gonna be outdoorsy today. We're gonna go outside. It's a little rainy, and I haven't seen sun for the past four days in Atlanta. But this is what's going on. Without further ado, let me go ahead and take you off this tripod and take you over to the computer and head into this clip right here. All right. So I just pulled up to this spot called RCR Consignment that has. I just went in and talked to them, and they have a few cool, few cool pieces that I think I want to grab. And it's all like pretty good prices because it's it's basically a consignment thrift store. They sell like used, higher end. Some of them are new designer pieces and it kind of lets you get pieces for maybe half of the price that they would be in the store so we're gonna go in here i'm gonna show you guys some of the stuff we're gonna cop some stuff and i'm gonna let you guys be able to get them at an affordable price So they have a pretty good collection, I would say, of men's shoes. I've never seen kind of like a consignment of this many men's shoes in one place. Like you got Saint Laurent right here. You got Yeezy Season boots. This is kind of like the designer. You got like Gucci belts, Saint Laurent wallet. There's some things in there that I definitely want to grab. Really like these Saint Laurent shoes. They're just different. These are, I think they're kind of my size. That's 44. Might have to see if those fit. Christian Louboutins right here. A little fancier side. I've never had a pair of those, but some that you guys I think would like would be like these Gucci shoes right here. These ones are at 375, which regularly, I think those are like five, six. I don't know exactly. These right here, these are 299. None of these are my size, unfortunately, because I think if these are my size, I might grab them. And then clothing over here. This is the stuff that I think I'm ready to get into. Like this Gucci jacket right here. I can't remember the retail. They have it at $7.99. I think the retail had to be at like at least $1,200, $1,400. There's a few other shirts here. I like this right here. It's kind of a Gucci crew neck. Or if you kind of rock with the Gucci polo. I kind of like that. That's at $250. Pretty clean. I don't really wear polos though. So some of the things I think I want to grab is this Gucci headband here. And then there's a Saint Laurent wallet that I like. You know, I have a card holder. And then there's two Gucci belts kind of like that one. Oh, there's also a Fendi headband right there. That's at 175 and the retail was like 270 and then this is at 199 And Balenciaga speedrunners, these were at 450 so that's 43 And then these, I kind of like that crazy multicolored bottom. I think these will look cool with like a tie-dye shirt. All right, so I'm just pulling out of RCR consignments. I think I got a pretty good deal. So I ended up spending over 1100 but realistically that jacket originally retailed for I think about $1,450. And I tried to find the exact one. I did do some legit checking on the stuff. I went in there and you know, kind of looked at different things. We got a Louis Vuitton shirt, which I think is something I want to give to one of you guys for super cheap. That one's like, a that was a hundred bucks. And so it's plain on the front, but it says like Louis Vuitton factory made or something like that on the back. And then we got a Gucci headband, which originally goes for 270. So I think we combine all the retail tells what they originally were. That Louis Vuitton shirt is probably like 300 bucks, but I know it's really worth like 100 now. I would say we're at, it was like 300 that. I would say it was around $1,900 worth of stuff that we got. It's probably 50% off of what regularly pay. Now that's one of the one I'm trying to go right now over to like Saks Fifth Avenue and Neiman Marcus and off Saks Fifth Avenue and maybe try to find a little bit more discounts. Now Louis Vuitton, we will not find those discounts. At. None of the stuff in the store go on discount. The only time you'll find something at a cheaper price is if you buy it used because they burn bags that don't sell. It's just like what they do. But 
I do know that Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue are having some yearly sales around Black Friday that are, you know, you'll be able to find stuff around like 40, 50% off. So I'm gonna go in there. I don't know if they're gonna have much, but if they do, I'm gonna grab it. I wanna do some raffles for this stuff because I feel like it'd be cool for one of you guys to get something like a Gucci jacket for five bucks. Someone want a $1,500 TNF jacket for $5, which is really awesome. I'll check in when we get there, but for now, we're gonna head back. I got some errands to run too. I was finally able to find that jacket on Farfetch and it is $2,200. Now it's an older season and there's so many new things that have come out and I assume that's a pretty that's a pretty good deal. From 22 down to 700. Now, if I honestly had to guess that that jacket at like Neiman Marcus and stuff was probably marked down. They have a size left on Farfetch, but still at 2,200 bucks. And I did look at all the details on the jacket. Like I went through, looked at the little aglets. I looked at the tag. Everything is good. Like everything in that store, I'd seen stuff, most of the stuff in there before. It's all good. Okay, so I just made it home. Now I'm actually going to make some lunch real quick and then I'm gonna go back out and go to a couple other places. I went over to Neiman Marcus and they just didn't have anything. Their sales stuff's not even out right now. I think they're doing a women's sale. Nothing men's sale yet. I know for sure next week they're gonna be doing a big one when the Black Friday comes around. So that is the one we have to look out for. But Neiman Marcus last call always gets stuff in from Neiman Marcus and they had Balenciaga and stuff like that last time. Lunch time. All right, so I just morphed over. What am I even saying? I tried to say this again already. I just got over to Off Saks Fifth Avenue Outlet. So it's like the outlet of the Off Saks Fifth Avenue. And last time, our extension, Neiman Marcus, last call last time, had vintage Gucci in there, like necklaces and stuff that would, I think, fit the criteria of where we want to be. Plus, they have stuff that's already 50, 60% off. So we got to look there too. So I'm going to go in there now. I got some returns I got to do because I got some stuff I didn't like. And then we'll uh, check back in when we get in there. Oh, my shoes. This insane jacket. I think it's a woman's. Alright, so I actually feel like I just got one of the cheapest Gucci items I've ever been able to find. Like, I don't. I think it's new, or it could be refurbished, but it literally was $75, I think, down for $170. And then after tax, it ended up being like $53. I don't think it matters. Like, I feel like it could work for both. Like, I feel like if I get a nice sterling silver chain, I think it'll look nice. I think that's what I'm gonna do. So I might try to do this, that in this video, but now I'm feeling like this video is more like finding the cheapest items because like so so much Gucci. Actually, I couldn't do. I don't know. I found this is like insane amounts of discounts. So that was like 170 originally. So I think down to 50 dollars, it's 120 off, 60 percent. So I'm feeling this is doing a lot better than I expect. Also, it's cold and rainy as out. Lee, this weather sucks. We made it back with four items that totaled $3,200 total, I believe. Let's break these down from top to bottom. The first place we went to, RC Ark Consignment. Now, they did not hook me up. Like, I went in there and I paid pretty much what, you know, everybody else pays. But I wanted to shout them out for letting me film in the store because sometimes shops don't let you do that, so I appreciate them on that end. But we got a few things, and I spent a little bit more than I wanted to. I just, I initially wanted to spend less than this, but the deals that I found in there are pretty good. First things up is going to be this Louis Vuitton t-shirt. Now, this one has a dry cleaning sticker still on it, but this on the back says Louis Vuitton's wardrobe right here. This is just a blue shirt on the front. Very plain. This reminds me of like a Dolce & Gabbana t-shirt. Very clean, very plain. Good quality. Let's see if we can get a materials breakdown. This is a 2XL and it actually fits not like that. Made in Italy. Does not say like the exact materials. If I had to guess the retail on something like this would be around three, $400. When you go into the Gucci store, you can see plain t-shirt for around 300 to $400 and that's kind of the baseline. I was going to do a video on the cheapest designer t-shirts, but they're, it's just the retail price is so high. It doesn't make sense. So finding things like this is better in my opinion. Opinion. So again, Louis Vuitton wardrobe on the back. This was like $95, I think, total. Very simple. If you like that clean look on the front, nothing really going on. And then the back, it does have a little bit of a weird neck thing going on here. I don't know exactly what's going on with that. But as you can see, Louis Vuitton's wardrobe. I just thought it was a nice essential piece to get because Louis Vuitton, you cannot find on sale like you could find Gucci. So you have to find things kind of secondhand in order to get that discounted price on them. So $99, I think this is one I either want to sell on my website for 80 bucks 
or I'm going to go ahead and do a raffle. But that was the first piece from RCR, the cheapest one as well. So yes, I'm going to be doing a giveaway on this Louis Vuitton shirt right here. If you guys want to enter, you guys typically know the details. It's all going to be up on the screen. Subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and then comment down below your Instagram as well as Louis Vuitton t-shirt and that's it. Then we got a Gucci headband. Now this one I think is brand new, like still has the tags and everything on it and it was 170 bucks. This is the same Sega kind of font that they got going on. As you can see, it goes with the Gucci flip flops that I have. It's called the Sega font thing. This is a medium 57. I'm gonna try to put this on. I look like an elf. I'm not one to wear headbands, but I thought it was a good price. I got it for $100 under retail and this is something that is still sitting in Neiman Marcus right now. Literally, they're still in there. So my guess would be that somebody put this on once, like the inside is literally, there's no scuffs, there's nothing in there. Somebody put it on one, couldn't take it back, lost the receipt. Headband Gucci Queen 270 retail, as you can see right there. Maybe they have a connect to work to Gucci and they got it for half off and they're making money on it. I don't know. But this was a cool piece because I think the headbands are hot right now. I see a lot of people. There's a lot of rappers that I've seen wear this particular piece right here. And for 170, I think it's not a bad deal compared to the retail price. Now this is an item I think I might raffle as well because again, this is something I might not wear. I kind of might want to do a bundle thing with all three things and make it like a huge raffle, but I'm not sure yet. I just thought this was a really cool piece and to, to get it for hundred dollars on a retail at a piece that's still currently sitting in the mall, like it's hard to pass that up. So there's that piece there. And then the big daddy piece for this store, because we went to another store, something I didn't want to spend this much money on, $790, $799, which is a lot for a jacket secondhand, but the retail price, I'll put it up on screen, was almost $2,300. It is almost sold out on Farfetch. It is a piece that doesn't scream Gucci, but the track jacket is huge. And you guys saw it when I was in the store. This is the Gucci kind of tiger head track jacket. It's black. Now, some of them have like the embossed Gucci on there, but this one doesn't. It's black and it just has has a stripe down the side. Now I'm wondering if like this is all from the same, like the Gucci headband and this are from the same person. Maybe they flexed the Gucci outfit on Instagram and they needed to get rid of it, get some extra cash. But look, this thing actually fits me pretty nice. It's a little big, but this is just something I've never looked into getting because of how expensive it is. The details on this are all good. Like you can see the Gucci aglets. This is something that is definitely, I looked up to try to see if this was like a faked item and it's not. On all the websites that I've ever bought and fake stuff off of, this is not an item that they're kind of replicating. So this is somewhat new. I think it's from last season. You got the embroidered tiger head right here. There's there's nothing on the back. The Gucci patch is on the inside here. You guys will be seeing some overlay shots of it, but it's just a very clean jacket at $7.99, which is $1,500 under the retail price. Yes, it's used. It's not used a lot at all. Like this seems very lightly worn. Like this is something that I would have. Like I have very lightly worn clothes. They said it was sitting in the store for a while because typically on things that are newer, like they're, I don't know if they reduced the price at some point. It looked, I think they took the tag off where they kind of marked the price. It probably was like $8.99. I can actually look on their Instagram and see. See, this is the one that I wanted and it, it says 550. It says it's not sold, but 550 for that's good because it's a $1,400 jacket. Yeah, I can't find it on the website, but again, I think that's a decent price. And I think this is something that is like kind of cleaner, something that I can maybe wear because it doesn't scream Gucci. What do you guys think? Is this something you can see me wearing? And then lastly, we went to Neiman Marcus last call. So we had a total of four items, which I think is pretty decent. I'll have to add up the totals and how much I save combined. This one was marked at $76, but then he, when he rang it up, it was 20, it was 30% off. Now this did say it was excluded from all the different sales, but I guess not. So 5320. You can see in a little Gucci pouch right here. We'll take this off right here. And you guys have seen the Gucci thing before. 170 was the retail price. Marked down to 76 and then taken down from there. I'm gonna hide what it is. Now this says refurbished August 19th. Now maybe that means it's been there since August and nobody's bought it. So that's why it's uh, marked down even more. You can see right here we have the double G kind of the ghost looking. This is just a very cool necklace on the back. It looks like it's been worn. Like I don't know if that can be cleaned up. Uh, it's got like sterling silver i don't know what happened originally but i just thought sterling silver chain throw this on maybe for my fiance even if she likes it maybe for me either way i'm cool with it maybe i have to save this for a christmas gift for sophie but I, like this is really cool and it could be men's it could be women's I, it doesn't really matter to me it's a necklace like i don't if i think it looks good like even with like i could be gucci fied out right now with this whole thing going on put on the headband put on some gucci shoes flip flops whatever man. but i just thought great deal right here and these places neiman marcus last call you have to go and look if you saw that off-white biker jacket that thing it, oh, that thing was fire. $1,100 originally was $2,300. I looked it up. If that was men's, I probably wouldn't have bought it because it's still $1,100. 50% off, but still. So that's what I was able to find the cheapest items. This is 50 bucks right here. Charms at Gucci are usually uh, $90. I think that's the cheapest charm you can get. We got it for 50. So essentially some thrifted items, some consignment items. I think it's a cool idea. I want to do this again sometime soon and look for more stores. So if you guys like this, please leave a like down below. I think that's going to wrap it up though. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out. Oh,